So from Tracy, I'm a HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer patient. My doctor is starting Fazlodex and Verzenio. I have learned that when Fazlodex causes severe pain at the injection site um, and that Verzenio may cause diarrhea, what are any precautions that I need to take to manage them so that I don't stop my treatment? Name again? Tracy. Trace, I can focus on the story. Yeah. Tracy, I'll switch you it up. Are on it. The, your doctor really is giving you the my favorite combination for estrogen driven breast cancer. It is a really a star combination that has such a great response rate and a very overall very well tolerated too. But your questions are really uh, legitimate and uh, your concerns are real. So, number one, Felsodex butt pain it literally is a pain in the tushy because there are two injections that go in each butt cheek so um it is uh, it can be painful however there are little things we can do as healthcare providers to make the experience less uncomfortable um the first thing is i ask my nurses to warm it up a little bit so you have my nurses sitting on their computers with two fossil dust injections and they're their arms warming them up for the next patient so they warm it up they put them under their arms they they try their best warming it up it's a very thick um lipolate soluble and it's intended to go in the buttocks because it sits in the fat and it releases it over the next month it's a a a if you don't give an injection every day so um be happy that it's only once a month because otherwise it's every day. So it sits in the fat and that's why it hurts because if you have this, this much volume sitting in there, steadily releasing the medication throughout the month. So um, warming it up is important. Also giving it very slowly. We don't like giving injections. Nurses, it's uncomfortable. You don't want to hurt the patient, obviously. So they sometimes are rushing and they give it very quickly. It is the slower, the better. So over two minutes, two to three minutes, the injection should be given. The third thing my nurses like to do is to have two nurses at the same time, giving them both at the same time. Patients vary in their preference. So it is two, two injections and each one on each side. Some patients like one at a time, others like to just get it over with and have two nurses at the same time giving it. Remember, warming it up is important, slowing and considering the idea of, of doing it both at the same time. In very, you know, patients who are really anxious I sometimes give a, a numbing cream uh, preventively. If you use a, a the cream before, it can alleviate that just um, initial prick, but it's the injection, the medication going in that's more painful. So that's the one that hurts. So you can't really use a numbing cream in the inside. The numbing cream only helps the surface prick, the initial prick, but it does not really alleviate the pain from the medication going in. It is very short lived, two to three minutes. Uh, sometimes using, um, you know, massaging it afterwards can help uh, alleviate that lumping of the medication and help uh, getting it through. But I have hundreds, if not treated thousands of women with this medication over the years and they all get through it. It is a very effective combination. Now, Virginio, it is really a great medication for the combines. The Fasodex alone is very effective. Now you add Virginio and you almost double the efficacy of the Fasodex. And most importantly, you make that efficacy last a long time, which is key in, in metastatic cancer. We want our treatments to last us a long time. So we every treatment lasts a few years, then hopefully we can extend life as long as possible. So Virginio, main side effect is diarrhea. So I have used this trick. Not many people like to do it this way, but I, I go slow. Virginio is usually 150 milligrams twice a day. So if I use, I, I ask my patients for the first few days up to a week, just use it once a day. Allow your body to adjust to it. So it's not, you're not having diarrhea dehydrated. So that's something I like to do. And then once you feel like you're tolerating the once a day, then you can go up to twice a day. And that's why I mentioned that Fasodex alone is a very effective medication. So if you don't feel guilty for doing it slowly, you're not impacting your efficacy. It is just a very temporary, gradual adjustment to the medication. 
and uh, it is it will be preventing a lot of women from getting into the emergency room because they take it right away and then dehydration. So that is one thing. The third thing is how to use Imodium. Imodium is very effective for this treatment, but it's not typically used the way the box says over the counter. It is an over the counter medication, so it's used for simple diarrhea and the way it's on the box is for those reasons, not for chemo induced. For for cancer treatment induced diarrhea, I like to use Imodium like the following. The, with the first diarrhea, I use two pills, then one pill every two hours. Don't wait for the next diarrhea to reflexively take it, use it preventively. So two pills after the first watery bowel movement, then one pill every two hours until you've been 12 hours diarrhea free, then stop. Can I say it again? Two pills, then one pill every two hours continuously until you've been diarrhea free for 12 hours. It would not hurt you, but would stop if you've been diarrhea free for 12 hours, so you're not constipated. But um, if you use it that way, it, it can work very well. Now, if Imodium alone is not enough, I'm sure your doctor will have the next level in prescription uh, diarrhea medication, but this is such a powerful combination. And with the supportive care, I've had very few patients having to stop the medication. Excellent. Those are some really good strategies, and I think you've really empowered uh, Tracy as well as other patients that may be looking at that treatment regimen to be able to really advocate for themselves.